Okay, I'm very happy to have on the Goldstein on Gelt show, Martin Seidler, who is the CEO and founder of a company called Central Way, which develops mobile banking solutions. Now, Martin, many people do their banking online today, and quite frankly, they, they think it's pretty cool. What needs to be improved? Thank you for inviting me to your show. And um, it's right, we are developing uh, mobile banking solutions, and our main product is uh, Central Way Numbers, a mobile banking app. And uh, we made a decision to develop a mobile banking app because we have been not very satisfied with the existing solutions. What we have done is so far, and this is from my perspective as well, the main topic, what needs to be improved by banking is, um, first of all, it's mobile. It's not anymore the web. It's not anymore the browser. It's your smartphone, what is the focus on your life and your whole personal finance uh, you want to manage as well on your smartphone. And if you're thinking about banking, you're thinking about to make money transfers, to check your balance, just to control your statement that everything is going fine, and to check if you are going into minus or not. And this is exactly where the pain is starting. We developed an app which is easy to use, and our focus here is really to, to achieve a simplified and simplified solution in which once you have linked your existing banking account to that, to our application, you have an automated personal finance manager. That means automatically every single transaction is categorized in certain categories, for example, closing or travel, or, and there are many more. You don't need to adjust it manually, but you can do it. But you can check as well, one, you check your, your balance, you can check uh, your balance not just from one current or saving account, you can do it for multiple accounts and you can aggregate all of these accounts in just one app. So and you see where you are standing and this is the goal. Our goal is, and this is what doesn't work today in a quite good way, is convenience. Convenience, simplicity and just a very, very, very easy to use application so you can manage your bank accounts but as well your personal finance. Okay, so that is, of, course, of course is important as a, in, in my day job, I'm a financial advisor and one of the things that I, I often marvel at is how unaware people are, not only of the markets, but of their own situation. So of course, Martin, I have to disagree that the focus of my life is not my cell phone. The focus of my life, of course, is my wife and children. But second to that, I probably spend more time with my cell phone with, <laughs> than with them. So what you're talking about is really bringing so much information, very, very private information about someone's money situation onto his phone. But these days, you know, frankly, people are very concerned about phone safety, not the least of which was the whole question of uh, how safe the iPhone was related to the Apple case against the FBI. Do you really think that uh, that people sh should correct should feel safe with so much information on their phone? Yeah, there are two points of view of that. Um, and uh, first of all, we need to define what is safe. Yeah? What is the difference between a smartphone and a PC or a Mac? The last 10, 12 years and even 15 years, I don't know anymore, I'm using e-banking in my browser. Was e-banking safe or is e-banking safe? Yes, it is safe. Nothing happened with my account in the last 15 years. Of course, there are uh, examples where it was not safe, but I would say they are very minor, minor in general in the last 15 years. And what is the difference between a smartphone? And this is where how we are looking to the, the issue of safe, uh, safe applications, and as well the concerns about the data. That you can lose your data, you can lose your uh, information about your balance or account. And this is what we solved in a way. First of all, we developed the application on top of this layer of the banks. That means we are not looking to replace the bank, so even not the security of the banks. On top of the existing bank account with the username, your password, and your transaction numbers and PIN codes, on top of that, we have an, two additional security layers. One is the username and password, and the second is a security pattern, what you have to create. And on below that, you still have the uh, credentials, what you are using for your online bank account. It means twice, a double security. But there's still one thing what we've figured out what is quite a risk, and is what is happening 
if you are losing your phone, your smartphone. Mm -hmm. And even if the case of, of Apple iPhone with the FBI, but what is if you they could not crack it? Yeah? So afterwards, they cracked it yeah, with the support of Israel. What we heard, <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, we made the decision that no data in our application is stored on your smartphone. That means if you're losing the smartphone and it's going in some different hands, no one has access because there are no data. Everything is online in our safety, secure uh, data centers uh, in a nutshell in the cloud. So that means even if you're losing the phone, and this is the, was the most critical part in our analysis in the last years as we developed it. So in our case, the data are secure, even more secure if you would use a smartphone where you are storing the uh, data of your bank accounts. And this is not in our case, exactly the opposite. Mm -hmm. Everything is stored in the cloud. And this is where we think if we are compare uh, online banking, the traditional e-banking solution with the smartphone, we are not just secure, we are a little bit more secure as we have seen it in the browser era. Mm -hmm. because the data are not stored on your device. And this is where we are focused on. We're talking with Martin Seidler, who is the founder of Central Way, which is a company that develops mobile banking solutions. So let's look ahead a little bit, Martin, and talk about where the market is going. Does the development of online banks and banking apps like this mean the end of physical bank branches? Are we, are we at the end of that era now? I think it's a very interesting question, and uh, we discussed it many times, even with our team here internal, but as well with our shareholders, and very interesting as well with the banks. And we discussed it with major uh, European and American banks. And the answer, in in average, everyone is uh, convinced that the branches will not be so let's say we will not have any more branches, physical branches. But instead of that, there will be mobile banking applications, online solutions. But this doesn't mean that the banks will be replaced. And this is exactly our point of view. We are not looking to replace the banks because in the end, you need a regulated banking corporation, a company which is regulated, where you know it's under certain control, under certain rules, and where your assets are, where your money is. And it has to be saved and regulated. But you don't need a branch for that. And this is exactly our perspective. The branches will be replaced by, by applications, digital solutions, a smartphone solution, a browser solution, a tablet, whatever you have in mind. So although okay. people will find that strange, I think that ultimately that's going to lower the cost to the consumer because if banks don't have to maintain branches, that could be much better. Of course, we're talking about people handling their banking, their dollars, or if you work in Israel, their shekels. How about dealing with these crypt cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin? Is that something you think has a future or is that not really on the table right now? Um, I, I personally, I don't believe in the solution of Bitcoin. In, I believe in the concept of digital currency. But why not um, change the US dollar, the shekel or the euro into a digital currency? This is a solution enough. You have as well, you need a trust in your currency. But what I think what will happen is, and uh, many, many companies are discussing that, and even the banks, is the blockchain technology behind it. So the idea behind the digital currency, the infrastructure, the technology behind will be something, from my perspective, would be very, very helpful for our system, and it will be installed in the next years. But in the currency itself, as a Bitcoin, I don't believe in Bitcoins. I believe in the technology of Bitcoins and the blockchain, what is behind mm -hmm. And right. I, this is the point of view how we see it from here. Very interesting. So there certainly is a lot of development, and I certainly think people should be watching the, the research and development that you and your company are doing because it's definitely the cutting edge of where we will all probably be doing banking in the coming years. Martin, we are just about out of time, but in the last few seconds, tell us, how can people follow you and follow the work that you're doing? Um, Everything, what you, uh, if you want to download the application or just take a deeper look, what we are doing is our website, centralway.com, in one word. Centralway.com, you will find everything about me, about my team, about the history, and, of course, about our product. 
Okay, so we will put a link to that at the show notes of today's show so that people can learn more about it. Martin Seidler, thanks so much for your time. Doug, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. You've been listening to the Goldstein on Gelt Show with money maven Doug Goldstein. Doug's weekly radio show is heard around the world, but if you miss it, you can download the podcast at www.goldsteinongelt.com. The Goldstein on Gelt Show gives you up-to-date financial ideas so you can get on the path to financial freedom. If you'd like your questions answered on the air or off, send Doug an email to doug at profile-financial.com. It's your money for your future, so join Doug every week to build your wealth on the Goldstein on Gelt Show. 